Hello everyone, uh, this is your brother, good old neighbor, Nicky Kim Frozen 2, and Noob Thumbs Die, and Avatar Fan 2001, you know. And this is the kind of video I really need to, um, I really need to get this out of the way, because honestly guys, let's face it, the MCU hater is completely ungrateful, completely toxic, and completely racist, because honestly guys, they all, they all really toxic. Well, honestly guys, I cannot say racist, because for God's sake, I think World of the haters are way more racist than the MCU haters. Anyway, guys, was uh, honestly, guys, before I get started, uh, on, uh, and honestly, guys, this video is not all about me calling them out. I have to give them criticism, and criticism needs to be exist in this lifetime. Anyway, guys, so today I'm doing a video called My Problem with the MCU Haters. The way people, it's not going to be racist, it's not going to be raging, it's not going to be all etc. It's not going to be all that nonsense. It's going to be, be discussed. My Problem with the MCU Haters, it's not going to be a rant, it's not going to be a way raging, it's not going to be, oh my god, the MCU Haters suck, no. Not gonna be like that. I'm a good person. I'm a nice person. I'm the best person ever. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? So the first reason I think the MCU is the MCU hater is toxic. This has to be the fact that they all being ungrateful, like especially uh, uh, like especially they want uh, they want Thor Winter War Two, aka Thor World of Thunder, and after they, but after MCU released Thor World of Thunder, a lot of people really hated it. But honestly, the guys, I, honestly, guys, I do not make no sense for uh once forever because number one, uh, number one, Thor when um. <laughs> Because number one, the when the world came out five years ago, and second of all, you asked for it because honestly, guess what? I uh, 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 guess what? Just like Marvin from the SML said, um, when um, when he giving green meat to Jeffrey, honestly, guys, you gotta eat it now. You asked for it, now you have to have it. Honestly, uh, honestly, uh, guys, you gotta eat it now because honestly, guy, honestly, guy, the biggest plan, uh, the biggest, uh, the biggest complaint about the Thor world of thunder. It's had to be the fact. Uh, it's had to be the fact that people said it's too, uh, it's too much comedy more than action and adventure movie. Honestly, guys, you asked for a Thor comedy, you asked for it, and honestly, guys, if you hated on it, honestly, guys, I hate to say it, but just deal with it. You have to eat it now. You, uh, honestly, guys, you already got it anyway. Anyway, guys, and the second reason why I think MCU is toxic, it's had to be the fact that they are hating on Secret Invention. Honestly, guys, I don't understand why they keep hating on Secret Invention. Because number one, it didn't even come out yet. Number two, you gotta give it a chance. For honestly, guys, I've been working a whole bunch of comments. A whole bunch of comments. Uh, honestly, guys, none of the positive in the comment for Secret Invention. But honestly, guys, I will read to your comment on this YouTube video, but honestly, guys, let me take a drink of water because my mouth is pretty dry, and I might put some chapstick on because my mouth is pretty dry these days. So let me open my water, give me a drink of water, like. Oh crap! Oh crap! I actually spilled my water, a water on my shirt. Oh, sorry. Water is very important because every single time you don't drink water, your mouth is too dirty. Anyway, back I was saying. Sorry, guys. Now we go to the comment of the Secret of Vengeance. And now a lot of people don't even care about Secret of Vengeance. So, let me read the comments. From Watch Tomato TV, Full the same Studio, share it. So, I'm just going to read to you guys. Everything we know about Secret of Vengeance. But if you click the link, a lot of people are not happy. So, maybe read the comment. I'm just going to read some of the comments, but some of the comments I cannot say on the YouTube platform. Alright, Godzilla said, who care about Marvel by now? Everything I know is going to suck. Marvel's so bad it's crazy. Cool, I make sure not to watch it. Yeah, it's going to suck. Stan Lee, woman from the scrape. Oh my god, who the heck cares? We know it, it will, uh, we know it will suck. It's, it's so bad. It's so boring. Let's go to the nether flop. Who cares? Am I just not least man? Honestly, guy, uh, and honestly, guy, here's some of the comment which I'm not gonna read because number one it has cuss word and number two they have the s word which I don't I don't even say that kind of cuss word in my YouTube channel. Which honestly, guy, if you want me to do a video called why I don't or uh, why I don't cuss in my video, uh, honestly, guy, just check out my video. And honestly, guy, I might send the link to my video or why I don't cuss on my video. And if you're watching this, I'll probably you all completely understandable. Anyway, we have to hurry up because my brother Chris is being impatient. Anyway, guys, number three. They keep hating on MCU project. But honestly, guys, honestly, uh, uh, and honestly, guys, uh, on, honestly, guys, if you don't care about the MCU project, uh, uh, honestly, guys, do it in the proper way. Just don't sit there and say, oh, it's, oh, it's going to start because of pushing female agenda. They are actually woke and they are, they are pushing female agenda. Honestly, guys, that was crazy criticism and you know that. Anyway, guys, I might talk about, uh, I'm, I might talk about it in my second reason. So yeah. 
And sorry guys, another reason why I think MCU is toxic is how to be the fact that people keep hating on female. Yup, face ball is the most hatred face ever. Honestly guys, you know why? Honestly guys, you know why face ball is getting so much hate? This has to be the fact that Marvel putting so many female more than male. Honestly guys, this is the main reason why I think Strange World is kind of, it's, it's kind of a mediocre movie because honestly guys, if Strange World has, some fe uh, has a female main character, which honestly guys, I would like Strange World more than, um, than the male character. Honestly guys, this is the main reason why I think male character in film is really overrated. Not, honestly guys, not in real life. I like my male, I like a male myself. Honestly guys, I like male. Male is a very powerful man, but... But honestly, guys, why they're hating on female? Honestly, guys, just give some female respect, man. And honestly, guys, honestly, honestly, guys, if you said that female is really weak, it's like a shortcake, honestly, guys, honestly, guys, you better not say that to Wonder or else Wonder, or else Wonder would do the exact same to Wong, like pushing off the pushing off the the grip and say, like, ah, yeah. Yeah, do not mess with Wanda. Wanda is the most powerful villain ever next to, uh, uh, ever from the MCU. More, um, next to Kane from Ant Man 3 and Kane Dynasty in Thor. I mean, in the, uh, uh, and, and Thanos. Yep, Thanos is a villain, but now he's turned good, which I won't mind it. Anyway. Anyway, guys, another reason I think MCU is toxic. It's had to be the fact that they don't, um, they really despise the comedy. Not just MCU had to be all or dark and serious movie. You can take that to the DCU. Honestly, guys, yes, DCU has some same element to the MCU. But at least the DCU, at least they're doing the exact same thing with the dark and gritty, mysterious, like the Flash movie. Even uh, 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 honestly, guys, even I'm giving in the Flash movies a chance, but screw the Andrew Miller. Anyway, I'm not supporting. Honestly, guys. <laughs> Honestly, honestly, guys, just because the Flash movie is going to be a boss of it accessible, but that, uh, but that didn't mean people would change their mind about Edge Miller. Honestly, guys, I really despise Edge Miller. Honestly, guys, I might do a wait on Edge Miller. Ha ha, April Fool, I'm not going to do a wait on Edge Miller. Honestly, guys, I don't do a wait on actor and actress. Anyway, but for my problem, I might do my problem with Edge Miller, but maybe we'll see. Anyway, what was that? And yeah, it's just mom's talking. Anyway, back to what I'm saying. Sorry, guys. They keep hating on Kate Bishop from Hawkeye. They keep hating on Shishaya from Hawk... Um, sorry. From... From Wakanda Forever. They keep hating on Jane Foster from Thor World of the Thunder. And last not we, they keep hating on Casey Land from Ant-Man 3. And I guys said, what the heck? What the heck are we living in this is society? So all you been telling me that female empowerment is bad, it's mysterious, but if you want to do it, but if male do it, you think it's okay, you think it's really good. But if female does it the exact same with male, they're gonna say they were pushing female agenda. Honestly guys, I cannot stand up well, this is the main reason I uh, honestly guys, this is the main reason why I did a win on female agenda. A female pushing female gender term. Uh, honestly, guys, I wish that term don't exist in the first place. Anyway, guys, the last reason I think the MCU is toxic, and this is where really it grinds my gear, it has to be the fact that people keep saying MCU is for kids. It's for kids. It's for kids. You got to be kidding me right now. Are you serious right now? How in the monkey that MCU is for kids? Do you honestly think kids will enjoy Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness? Nope. Uh, do you, uh, and honestly, guys, uh, sorry, guys, let me try again. Do you always think kids will enjoy the scene from Internal when the main character is making out? Eh. Honestly, guys, do you always think kids will enjoy to all get his crib ripped off from Zane? Eh. Wrong. Nope, they are not going to enjoy it, and they will scold them for life. Honestly, guys, do you always think kids will have audacity to, uh, to enjoy Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which that film was the very first MCU project from the, um, from the horror element, which... But you honestly, kids will, uh, kids will be a scary cat just like the Green Inferno. Anyway, the last not least, do you honestly think kids will enjoy seeing all the adventure characters say some cuss words like Doctor Strange, Gone of a Galaxy movie? Yeah, Gone of a Galaxy movie is not family friendly. They keep saying cuss words in that movie. And the Avengers of Infinity War and Endgame is not family friendly. Not just all the Avengers, honestly guys, not just all the MCU had to be all family friendly. Honestly, guys, She Hulk is a different story because She Hulk is 100% family friendly. They are too, they too easy, they're too soft, and that move. Honestly, guys, and that show is god awful. And honestly, guys, I might do a video call 
Kawhi, I think She-Hulk is a cinematic disaster. Yeah, I might talk about more, more my problem with the She-Hulk. Yeah, that, yeah, that She-Hulk show should not exist in the first place, and not, and not, and that show deserves to be in a, to be in a Walmart five dollar bargain bin. So overall, guys, I, honestly, guys, that's my reason why I think MCU hater is toxic. The bottom, the bottom line is, people, you gotta stop hating on MCU. Honestly, guys, if you don't care about the MCU, do it in a proper way. Just don't sit there and say, oh, the pushy people should uh, look through the world, the pretty people, too many female. And not just MCU, Dungeons and Dragon is going to do the exact same thing because after I heard, female is going to be more stronger than male. And honestly, guys, you know, Fenris and Mendes did. They did. Honestly, guys, they all, they all saying they're pushing female and gender. Honestly, guys, you're the exact same person that you don't have no problem with Princess Peach or going to or going to be as a hero more than Mario. Honestly, guys, if you... Honestly, guys, if you don't have a problem with Princess Peach trying to be like, trying to be like a hero and a female empowerment, why not you do the exact same reason why you think, uh, why you think MCU? Honestly, guys, just give MCU a chance. Honestly, guys, I'm getting sick of tired of these hatreds of the MCU. Honestly, guys, they keep hanging on No Way Home. Yup, originally, they liked No Way Home, but not nah, now, not anymore. Now they're all, Phase 4 is getting so much hate. And, and honestly, guys, you can see why MCU haters are being ungrateful or being ungrateful, just like William being ungrateful, like getting shoes at Indy. <laughs> That's, honestly, guys, I get, honestly, guys, I do it, man. That video is pretty funny. Anyway, this hater, just give us a chance. Just give us a chance. Don't wait. Don't want all the MCU project to be bombed. Don't want it to be flopped. And honestly, guys, this is why Kevin Feige is slowing down his MCU show. Last show, we got too many MCU show, but now Kevin Feige say we're slowing down the MCU show. We're gonna keep, uh, honestly, guys, we're gonna get Secret Invention, and we're gonna get Wookiee Season Two. What honestly, guys? Uh, what honestly, guys? And honestly, guys, we're visually the Marvel is gonna be released on July. We're doing two. They got delayed because they want to slow down the project. No, it's not because of COVID. COVID don't exist. Anyway. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, turn the notification, and share this video with your whole family. And I gotta say right now, can you please stop hating on future MCU? Honestly, guys, just because the fact MCU is not doing, uh, it's not doing that good, it's not doing that good like myself. But that didn't mean you had to hang on the Avengers of Any War, the Avengers Endgame, and Ant Man the Wop, and Iron Man, and the first Marvel film. And, and honestly, guys, it didn't mean you had to hate all the MCU. Like, exactly, people hanging on the Avengers Endgame, which honestly, guys, you can see why MCU haters are completely toxic these days. Same thing for Star Wars haters, the same thing with the Frozen 2 haters. And speak of Frozen 2 haters, and honestly, guys, I might do a mic palm with the Frozen 2 haters after I... After I heard the rumor that Frozen 3 would be far the box of it, which honestly, guys, I do not want to see that happen, because I don't know... Honestly, guys, I do not... Honestly, guys, I do not want to see Frozen 3 drama to be like Strange World and Right Year drama, which... Which honestly, I'm sick of tired of this Disney drama, I'm sick of tired of this Pixar drama, and, I, and especially I'm sick of tired of this MCU drama. That drama is drumming me up, drumming me up the wall, and I know it's completely all up. <laughs> Sorry guys, these MCU haters is driving me up the wall, it needs to stop. Sorry guys, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, turn on notification, and share it with your whole family. No, excuse me, I'm gonna go bye bye, it's way above me talking about this video. Yep, I break the force while in my... Anyway, maybe take a drink and I will say I see you next time. I'll have a pizza too. Maybe see. Ugh. All right. Sorry, God, I had to shut it down. Anyway, I see you next time. And so long. And peace, YouTube.